So this is Operation Aegis. There are five members of the Pledge of Pirates clan. We were just coming in here to check it out. Some people hadn't done it yet. Attention. We were not expecting to Task win with only five, but it turns out we did pretty well. Attack the enemy and retrieve As you can the see, we've got a Ryujo, New Mexico, Fuso, Cleveland, and Indigrass. Roger. Searching for enemy convoy. Start out giving some instructions to the group about how the bot mayhem is going to smoke us up. The bot shores is going to assist with the fire. Enemy are going to be coming from the E6 first with a pretty good broadside usually, Stand which is nice. Enemy approaching from the north. done doing the Dunkirk operation a few times, so I was uh, still thinking about those uh, super speedy shell books and was not doing a good job at aiming at fairly slow cruisers with my Cleveland shells. So I was missing quite a bit at the very beginning here. So these ships coming in a lot slower than they normally So he was dead, so I let him go, didn't fire another shot at him. Turns out he is still burning, though. Which is nice, we'll find that out in a minute. He's, uh, he's on fire just the very last shot. So, here goes the AO button. We sank and the is still on fire. Attention, this is Task Force Commander. I'm up against the really enemy forces. Back up again. Requesting support. job in this battle.
An enemy cruiser. So after we take out this Kuma, we just have to clear out the defending ships from this convoy. Retake the convoy. Crosshair around there, it sort of makes that green dot look like a heart, which is kind of cute. If there's stopped, it'll look like a red heart. Our battleships do a really, really good job of being out in front, absorbing a lot of damage. What lets the uh, DeGrasse and I just sit back and rain fire on these guys? So now that Mia goes down, I, I target the wrong ship. I suggest they go for the Kuma in the back. I thought it was the one. I thought I was targeting the cruiser in front. So we're going to switch to the fur target here in just a second. And then in switching to the Furtaka, I put that Kuma just right out of my mind. So now we have control of this convoy. We have to escort them Attention. over to the exit the order. while the simultaneously defending them ships. and killing the carriers that are going to be showing up. This is where our carrier spotting comes in handy. One thing, another thing that our carrier has been doing really, really sticking with the group, which is great. I go into this a lot and I see the carriers hanging out way down south, you know, sort of like where that uh, bot Saipan is down there. Um, so far away that their planes take forever to recycle. By sticking with the group, your planes actually can get in place pretty fast. In the end, it does him in, but that's better than losing some of the transport ships. So anyway, I'm getting into place here to defensive fire the first wave. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert.
torpedoes dead ahead. Fortunately, New Mexico takes the brunt of the other two carriers' attacks, which again saves our transports, but doesn't do him any favors. The torpedo beats here by Mr. Grass. Destroyed. So now the DeGrasse and I are going over here to hunt these last two carriers to get them to target us instead of the fleet. These surface ships are the only thing stopping the fleet from getting to the exit point, and our only ally over there is that Ryujo, which is uh, sometimes a pretty scary thought here the only thing over there defending all those Liberty ships. But, the good news is they're going to target him instead of them. So he will be the meat shield. I thought these, uh, torp planes were going after the DeGrasse. Totally, totally blew this defense here. And so they get a pretty good cross drop in on me. I should have at least, should have taken all And I oversteered just a little bit. Three. Three is okay. Three works. And then now it's just damage farming time. Completion screen, five stars. Total of 188,000 damage. Almost um, a little over half a million in credits, which is nice. Um, 13 citadels, almost 300 hits, 40 planes shot down. 2,453 base experience, nine kills. So 187,000 damage, 164,000 of it from the main guns, only 20,000 in fires, unfortunate, but those uh, ships die pretty much too fast to really burn up a lot, except I guess for that Shiratsuyu who burned to death. Um, mostly HG, a little bit of AP. Eighteen thousand commander experience, which is very nice. 
and you can see even after uh, refitting almost half a million credits.